This is Focus on the Family with psychologist and author Dr. James Dobson. Now, today we want to talk about the prevention and treatment of homosexuality in boys. Focus on the Family is probably one of the most powerful Christian organizations in this country, led by Dr. James Dobson, one of the most well-respected authors and radio commentators, reaching nearly 200 million people worldwide. Parents fear that their sons and daughters will become gay or lesbian. James Dobson got his beginnings by basically talking about parenting. And he has no theological training whatsoever, but he claims on the airwaves to be the lone interpreter of what is God's will for everyday families in America. So while he talks about raising children, he also talks about the destruction of the family by gays and lesbians. If the definition of marriage should change, the family as we know it will die, and with it will go everything else that sits on that foundation. He's even gone so extreme as to say that gays are comparable to Nazis and how they will destroy the Christian foundation of this country. Dr. Dobson and Focus on the Family have a program they call Love One Out and they also uh, call it reparative therapy. They say their aim is to prevent or to treat, to change homosexuality. Homosexuality is a preventable disorder, and I still see it as a disorder. I have to tell you that as a psychologist, the idea that homosexuality is a preventable disorder is completely misguided. There's no scientific research to back it up. It's not a disorder any more than heterosexuality is a disorder. Dr. Dobson tells parents that if your child tells you he or she is gay or lesbian, then you should not say, well, that's okay. You should not try to accept them, but you should try to get them changed. That is exactly the opposite of what you should do. It's the way to devastate your child. It's not something that can be changed at will because it's inborn, it's natural. And to call it reparative is a misnomer because there's nothing to repair. The truth of the matter is there are tens of thousands of people who have come out of homosexuality. Religious conservatives will tell you that they know many, many people who've been through Love One Out or reparative therapy and that they have stopped being homosexual. Well, you know, by instilling fear and shame in a person, you can get them to suppress any feelings that they have. That's worlds away from changing somebody's homosexual orientation. If you suppress that part of yourself, it's not without consequences, and usually the consequences are very serious. 